I've heard everything in Afghanistan from it, it was about the opium. Uh, it was about uh, banking. <laughs> it, it was about this. It was about that. Nobody has ever really uh, fleshed out for me a good concrete reason for why that particular country and that particular war was supposed to be sustained for this long. Uh, that's always been, it's always been kind of odd to me. I've, uh, me and my wife were talking the other day. We couldn't figure out like, what would the objective be of Afghanistan specifically? Why would that be the place that we would go? Well, I mean, in, in classic geopolitics. So if you know about heartland theory and rimland theory and Halford McKinder, uh, Afghanistan is the gateway to Eurasia. So in the older British model of geopolitics, the way that you control the world is to control the Eurasian landmass. The Eurasian landmass is key. Brzezinski, of course, and a lot of the people at Harvard, what's his, Joseph Nye something, Nyman, I forget that guy's name, but they, you know, they all basically adopted the model of the British Empire uh, of how to understand geopolitics, and that's, that's controlling uh, the Eurasian heartland, and that's what Afghanistan is, is the gateway to that. And so, but it's also known as the place where empires go to die. So in the original great game, uh, you know, Russia and different, uh, the UK, they all had an interest in trying to do that. That was the original great game. They failed there. Uh, and so now the US, right, I think probably due to what they perceive as a technocratic dominance, uh, you know, full spectrum dominance, you could say, which, that's the Pentagon model. They probably see that it, uh, they, from their perspective that they could win uh, and and control Afghanistan. But what's funny is that Brzezinski's strategy was actually to use the Taliban and and get the CIA to create that that army there to uh, exhaust the Soviets, and it worked. So he exhausted the Soviets in the the, the Afghan war, uh, and then that allowed the U.S. to basically you know maintain their their uh, influence and control there. And then they were just paying off the different presidents, you know, Hamid Karzar, whoever, with just bags of money and bags of cash and stuff. So uh, it's it's crucial as a geostrategic place. That's one. And then, yes, there's also the uh, uh, other additional factors of the opium of, you know, whatever other uh, minerals and resources are, are, are there. Well, it's, it's interesting to me because now you're seeing the Taliban running around with uh, AR-15s full body armor. You're seeing them run around with night vision uh, headgear. And the story for this is that the United States essentially pulled out and left behind uh, billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of equipment. Uh, that was not the experience that I had in the military. And I'm sure it wasn't the experience that Pedro had either. Um, no way. I would have got thrown uh, off the plane. No right, right. It's, 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 it's not, it's not, maybe it was common once upon a time. I know in Vietnam, we left a lot of weaponry behind, but uh, these guys were joyriding. There was a video of them joyriding in a Black Hawk helicopter, for instance. Uh, yeah, I, so think I, was, I mean, most of these kinds of things are psyops and they're intentional. They're they're uh, they're it's managed chaos. I don't think that they're really pulling out because you know, oh, we're defeated, or oh, you know, it's all intended. I think to be part of a long term strategy of breaking down the U.S. Probably using these. I, I mean, I, I doubt these groups were ever really not um assets of, of western intelligence i mean i suppose it's possible but uh i mean i think isis and and, and they were all groups, trained by the c by, yeah, yeah by uh, by the cia and, I mean. yeah, yeah they were they were all trained by the central intelligence agency um, and i find it hard to believe that like oh now there's not going to be opium production <laughs> right yeah right <laughs> no way that's not how that works i think <laughs> exactly so, so uh kind of moving forward what do you think is the best initiative for us people like us right now uh what do you mean what is our next step how do we prepare for what's coming next what do you think is coming we're next? going and fighting the taliban 